All right, hello everybody. My name is Lisa Ranzo, best and Korean junior at State University, studying computer science, but enough about me. Let's get into this. All right, so today what I'm gonna be teaching you guys is how to move the robot side to side. This is very crucial for competitions because you want to be able to move from side to side instead of having to, every single time, have the right position, so you could just move side to side and it just makes it way easier. So let's get into it. All right, so before we start, I wanna make sure first that you guys know how to actually set up your wheels. This is very crucial or else the code is very much useless. So, as you guys can see, it forms an X as in the mechanic wheels. So you guys need to really make sure of this, or else, no matter how amazing your code is, it's never gonna go to side to side. So I'm gonna include the link to this picture so you guys could as well have it. So as you guys can see right here, to move to to move to the side, like it literally tells you guys in what direction it's gonna go forward, it's gonna go backwards, it's gonna go backwards this is gonna go forward and this will move to the right and in order to go to the left it will be in the opposite so that's pretty much as simple as that but we're gonna get now into coding this so you guys could get a better image of it all right so obviously you have to start off by I will make sure before you start that you have as well imported your DC motors and then we're gonna get into it and then we're gonna private DC motor and then I'm gonna name it back left and then equals to null because I want to make sure set to nothing and then I'm gonna copy because I don't want to do it over and over and over all right and then front left then we're gonna name this one front right okay so now that I have that I need to actually set up the hardware so I'm gonna go here and then I'm gonna name it back left is equal to hardware map and then DC motor dot class and then I think it's a class let me check real quick so remember I don't want to mess it up oh I don't know what I'm forgetting. Dock it. And then, okay, so now right here, as you guys know, when we set up DC motors, we need to define it where we want it to be when we actually implement what motor we want to be used on the Roma, Roma controller. So we're gonna name this one back left. Doesn't really matter, it's the same thing. So now I'm gonna copy this whole thing then I'm gonna paste it okay and then and then okay so as you guys know right now I'm just I'm just defining everything to make sure that I'm able actually to use it. And then left front right. Okay. So now that I have everything set up, I need to actually set up in what direction I want my motors to be going in. So I'm gonna do back left dot set direction and then DC motor okay then dot direction then dot reverse okay so now that I have that one left that one set up I could set up also the Dun, dun, dun. I can set up the front left and then I'm gonna set up the now I'm gonna set up the back right let me see let me make sure okay so it goes like there to those four. Now I'm confused on what direction the motor is moving. 
Okay, well, if, if my directions are wrong, you could always change it in your code. Right, right now, right now, I can't really think of what direction they're properly moving. But, all right. So, back, back right. We're gonna make that one go forward. I believe it's in this direction. Mm. Okay. Mm. Then we're gonna make. As you guys know, in coding, there's there's a lot of typing. There's a lot of like, okay, is this is this really how it is? Okay, and then you have to think about the hardware and everything. But okay, so now we actually have our motor set up. Now we could actually use them. Okay, as you guys know, I love functions, so we're gonna actually implement the function. So we're gonna use a function. So we're gonna use public void. Mm, Side to side. Then we want no arguments. Okay. So now this code is fairly easy. Okay. So as you guys know, I love using gamepad. So I love actually just using buttons. So we're just something simple. So we're just going to use the A. Okay. Actually, no. Mm. Mm. Which one should I use? Dun, 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 dun. Let's use. Let's use left bumper to make it go to the left. Okay. And then else if and then oh, oh I can't type. And then not my tracer. Right bumper. Okay. Okay, so now that we have that, we're gonna Okay, so now obviously I want to be able to say so I'm gonna create a double, and then I'm gonna name it forward, and then I'm gonna equal to one. I, I'm just gonna make it go the fastest. Double backwards. No, I'm just gonna name it back. Is equal to negative one. Okay, so now. What I'm what I'm just gonna do is okay. So what I'm gonna do is back left down set power. Okay. So first, before I want to set up all of them. Okay, and then front left, front right, then set power. Okay, so now that I have all of that set up, okay, so now we're gonna go back to the image and we're gonna see in what directions they each gonna go. So um, I'll make this really, 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 really small, just just to have it here on the side. Okay, so to make it to go to the right, I'm um, the front left has to go forward. So in this case, since I'm making it go to the left, this one's gonna be uh, front left is gonna be backwards. It's gonna be back. Okay, so it's gonna be back. And then, meaning that the uh, front right, so front right, where's front right? Okay, so front right, that means that this one's gonna go forward. Front right is gonna go, front right is gonna go forward. And then back left, back left is gonna go backwards. Mm. Oh, I looked at the wrong one. Back left is gonna go forward. Back left is gonna go forward. I think I, I think I messed them up. Okay, give me a sec. 
Mm. Okay, so back left is gonna go forward. Okay, then back right is gonna go backward. And then front left is gonna go back. And then front front right is gonna go forward. Okay. So now let me double check again just for a little sanity check. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the front left is going backwards and then Another back left is going forward. Back right. Oh. Back right is going backwards. And then front left is going backwards. And then, okay. Yeah, okay, so that should be it. And then I just copy this one. Then, now it's gonna be the reverse. Back. Forward. Oh. Forward. And back. Okay, so now. Okay, now let me check again. Because, as we said, sanity check. We gotta always check. Okay, so. Do, 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 do. Okay, so, as we can see right here. So now. We're gonna see, okay, so we're making it go to the right, correct? So we want to be the front left, we want it to go forward. The front right, we want it to go backwards. The back left, we want it to go backwards. The back right, we want it to go forward. And then, so since this is the reverse of this, this should, this should also be true. So now I could just do, Side to side, and then it will literally just call a function, and then that's it. This is everything you guys really need to do. It's nothing more crazy. As well, obviously, we could program more. We can make it go diagonally. You can make it go backwards. You could make it to spin, and obviously, this is the direction in which the most would also go straight. So it's just there's much stuff to do, but this is just a simple. As you guys know, obviously you can make it way more complicated. You could make it do with a joystick, how, however you want. But however, this is just for you guys to get it. It's just a simple and clear ideas of how to actually program this. So I would like to say thank you and thanks for bearing with me. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.